Hi beautifuls and hi blondies. How are we doing today? Today's video is for the blonde girls out there or those of you who are aspiring blonde girls that maybe one day bleach their hair and maybe make it fall out of their head. Today we'll be finding out which purple shampoo is the best. I'm finding it today. I'm doing a search. I'm coming to a city near you. We'll be looking at ingredient lists, scents, latherability, how soft it makes the hair, and of course, last but not least, how well it tones the hair. Will it make your hair purple? Will it make your hair white or just in between? A little silver tone. I'll be testing out five different purple shampoos at five different price ranges. So I'm sure one of them will work for you. And by the end of this video, you'll figure out which purple shampoo is the best for you. Let's get testing, shall we? Let's do it. Okay, we have my supplies right in front of me. We have a bowl of water. We have some hair extensions that are all nice and yellow. I can't wait for these to turn white or silver. I'm excited to see what the difference is after we do these purple shampoo tests. We'll see which one ranks supreme of them all. And I have my gloves. I'm just gonna put these on real quick. Up first, we'll be testing the classic, the one, the only Shimmer Lights, which is $9.95. That's pretty damn cheap. This has come under some scrutiny in the past by a lot of hairstylists and a lot of people in general is known to be a very harsh shampoo. From looking at the ingredient list, it's pretty general ingredients. There is protein, guys. I think it's fine. You need to get your hair clean and sometimes it can be a little bit harsh, but it has protein in it, so we like that a lot. Um, Let's try it out, though, and see just how harsh it really is. I used to use this once in a while when I had platinum blonde hair years ago, and it worked pretty well. I'm gonna be honest, so I have have experience with this. This is the cheapest of everything we'll be using today. So I'm interested to see if this is actually where to go. Like, should you be using this instead of everything else? It's so much more expensive. Like, let's see. Okay, let's do a smell test first because that is so important. Just how I remember it, awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Shimmer Lights, but your product smells terrible. Put a good scent in it, please. Honestly, just smells like grandmother perfume. It just smells like chemicals also. What really matters, I feel like, is that it works, right? And it doesn't make your hair fall off. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Let's dip it in our warm water because that's what we would use in the shower. And I'm gonna really get this hair nice and wet. And then I will lather it up with the Shimmer Lights. And then we're gonna leave it to sit for about five minutes. Since it is toning your hair, it's not gonna tone in one second. So I think it's important to leave it on for a little bit. Let's wring the water out a little bit and I will put this in my hand. The color is magnificent. It is that pearlescent purple color that I love about purple shampoo. And we're just gonna lather it in just like normal. It has a lot of surfactants in it. It is very foamy and already it is turning silver. This stuff works just as well as I thought it did at one point in my life. I am going to let this sit for five minutes, rinse it off, and in the meantime, we're gonna work on the other shampoos and work our way through all five of them. Okay, next up we have John Frieda. Now this is a very similar price to the previous shampoo we just tried, which is Shimmer Lights. This is $9.99, so literally four cents more. Let's quickly check the ingredients. So it says, you know, just the normal stuff, lauryl sulfate, sodium sulfate, glycol, sodium chloride. These are all surfactants and things that, you know, cleanse your hair. This one does not have protein in it, which is interesting. All right, let's do a quick smell test. It's refreshing, it's nice, it's pretty. It doesn't smell too full of chemicals. I like that. And let's go ahead and test this baby out. Do a little zippy poo. It has the same sort of texture as the last one. Oh. Actually, it's a little thinner. And let's see how it works on the hair. It looks the same so far, maybe a little bit less gray. You can tell those blue hues that we had in the shimmer lights are not as strong. Um, and this is more of a subtle toning, which can be nice. This is turning a really beautiful blonde color right before my eyes. Ooh, I'm excited about this. Okay, cool. Okay, drugstore, come through. Okay, so here's what it looks like right now. We're gonna wait five minutes, shampoo this out and blow dry it, and let's move on to the next shampoo. Up next, we have Fanola No Yellow. Honestly, you guys, I have to be totally transparent with you. Has been a favorite of mine for a while. This is the one that I used on my blonde hair when I was always a platinum goddess. It's something that I used for a very long time. It is vegan. And this retails for $12.99. Really great price, honestly. I don't believe the previous two products were vegan. It doesn't say anything on the package that I can see right now, but call me out if that's incorrect. Let's see if it still lives up to my 
high, high, high standards of purple shampoo. This one does have bobab oil in it. And if you guys know Ex Mondo, I use bobab oil in a lot of my products because I love it so much. So that's a huge plus. There's no protein in here, which is totally fine. A very short ingredient list, I will tell you that much. So let's do a sniff test first and then we'll try it out. It smells like candy, honestly. And I like the scent. It is soft. It doesn't linger too much. I appreciate it. And just like I remember, this is very dark blue. Whoa, there is a lot of blue pigment in this product. I always remember using this on my hair and getting really freaked out by it because it is so blue. I'm like, oh my God, is my hair gonna turn blue? Typically it didn't. Sometimes it would be a little bit gray. At the time I was looking for that gray, gray look. And this is definitely toning, I'll tell you that much. It's, it looks looks like the same color as my shirt at this point. The surfactants are heavy. It's still making the hair pretty smooth. So I like that. Those are just some things I noticed with this one. All right, we're gonna let this sit for five minutes and we're gonna move on to the next shampoo. Okay, up next we have another drugstore product. This is the Paul Mitchell Platinum Blonde Shampoo. Ooh. We love a good platinum blonde moment. Dig the packaging, super cute presentation. And this retails for $15, so still a great price. So what I'm noticing is that this has a lot of really nice high quality ingredients. I'm seeing white ginger, flower extracts, jojoba, aloe is so good for people with blonde hair because their scalps are always irritated from coloring it or a lot of the time. I'm impressed. A similar smell to the Fanola one. It's kind of like candy, but this one's a lot more subtle and a little more fresh. I do like it. This one has a sort of gummy feel to it. Like, do you hear that? That's all you're gonna give me? I mean, this might be good for somebody who is looking for not a lot of toning, like literally the tiniest bit, but girl, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna do much of anything. We will see. Let's let that sit for five minutes, rinse it out, and let's move on to the next and final purple shampoo. So of course I couldn't finish this video without doing something super extra, which is buying a $46 shampoo. Do you know which one it is? Do you know what brand makes a $46 shampoo? Well, I'll show you. It is Orbe. And if you've never heard of Orbe before, well, get with it. Orbe is the Hermes of hair care. Honestly, that's what I would say. It's very luxurious. The branding is beautiful. Everything is gorgeous. Doesn't mean everything is better than, you know, cheaper products. You can have lower priced products and still have a great product. Just because it's $46 does not mean it's amazing. I mean, they clearly spent a lot of money on this packaging, which is added into that price for sure. So if you want beautiful packaging, though, this is it, girl. Because like, holy sh**. These branded bottles are sickening. So let's see their ingredient list. Oh, it is humongous. Um, I can't see it all. They have ginger root extracts. They have citrus in here. They have flower extracts. A lot of really nice high quality ingredients. Rice oil, sunflower seed oil, coconut acid. They definitely use high quality ingredients in all their products. I know that. I know a lot about Orbe and I really appreciate their brand and what they do and that they stand for and the ingredients they use. So I'm excited to see if, you know, the combination of ingredients and the toning abilities match up to the price of $46 because that's a bit steep for me. Um, I don't think I would even pay that much for a shampoo. It's a lot. It has their signature scent, which everybody loves. If you've never smelled it before, you would love it. Like it smells like a beautiful women's cologne. You can tell the fragrance is high quality too. I have never used this before. Ooh, beautiful dispense of product. It doesn't look too purple, I'm gonna be honest. You can tell this one might be more moisturizing because it is pretty sticky and heavy. Usually that means there's a lot of moisturizers in it. And yeah, it's kind of hard to lather and get around on all the hair. It smells really nice, doesn't smell like a bunch of nasty chemicals, so I like that. And it is toning nicely. Maybe not as nice as the others, but we will see once it's all rinsed off. Sometimes the results of these purple shampoos are not as they look when they're lathered. Sometimes you have to rinse them off and actually see it. Put that to the side. I'm gonna rinse that off and gather all the other extension pieces, lay them all out nicely for you guys, get them all blow dried, and then we can see the results up close and personal and examine and see which purple shampoo may be best for you. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished rinsing off all of the hair and blow drying it and I found a lot of interesting things. I'm actually really shocked at what I found because the things I thought I was gonna like, I ended up not liking and I'm really confused at this point. First up, we'll start with my least 
favorite purple shampoo. And I'm so sorry to say this, but Shimmer Lights, you were my least favorite and the least expensive. I was really rooting for you. It's good, it's just not that good. <laughs> okay, so here is the strand of hair that I colored with the Shimmer Lights one. On camera, it looks actually really nice and silver. In person, it looks a little more splotchy. It's very toning. If you're looking for something that is going to tone the out of your hair and make it so white that it's silver. And if you want your hair to smell like a grandmother for the rest of your life, like honestly, the scent just lingers. It is so overpowering. I think that is enough to not like this product. If I wanted to like this scent, I couldn't. It's terrible. Reformulate. Just a little bit. This one made the hair feel a lot more dry than the rest of them. I think that was because there is protein in it. Sometimes protein can overfill the hair strand and make it feel kind of stiff and straw-like. So that may have been the reasoning for it. But overall, it's just like not that soft, not that shiny, and way too much toning power for me. I just didn't love the experience. But if you're looking for a really budget-friendly purple shampoo, then maybe you do use it. Like, it's not the worst thing in the world. In our number four spot, we have Vanola. Literally use this on my hair all the time, but this was by far the most toning out of all of them. If you're looking for your yellow hair to turn blondish, this is for you. Like if you already have nicely blonded hair, this will probably turn your hair purple or like a violet tint like my shirt. Here is the hair strand. It's definitely gray. If you're looking for that really extreme toning blonde shampoo, really good. The scent was good. It wasn't too overpowering. I'm not obsessed with it, but it was a nice scent. I liked the ingredients. They have bubab oil in it, like I mentioned before. A good product. If you want that really, really silver white hair, really good product, really good price at just $13. Out of today's selection, it's not my all-time favorite. In our number three spot, which I'm very surprised about, we have John Frieda. So this is $9.99 and honestly, not at all mad about it. This one honestly didn't have high quality ingredients. The thing I liked about it was that it toned enough and not too too much. Um, it depends on if you're looking for a lot of toning or a little bit, and maybe the decisions I made today will be a little bit skewed for you because you might want more toning or less toning, or you know you don't really care about if your hair feels good or you want your hair just to be white. But this is my selection. This is what works for me. So I'm also trying to give you like my feedback on all of these products because it may be different, like I just said. So the hair strand is pretty nice. As you can see, it's more of that white color instead of so, so Silver. It lathered nicely. It wasn't that moisturizing, but also wasn't too drying, but it didn't have any good ingredients. Like I think that was kind of the downfall for me, you know? And I have to say that the price is really there, like $9.99, great price, you know, could be better. In our number two spot, we have Paul Mitch. I really liked the packaging, as I said before. It had some really nice ingredients, including aloe, which is great for your scalp and great at calming your scalp, and a lot of blondes need that. Also, I wanted to review the swatch, which looks really nice and white. Like, it almost blends into the background. Perfect amount of toning without it being too toning or making your hair silver. This scent doesn't linger. It, this really just smells like hair at this point. It's a very light scent, which I appreciate. Yeah, the hair feels nice and soft and shiny. Really enjoy this product overall, honestly. And as you guys have probably already realized, my favorite one just so happens to be the most expensive one, which is Orbe. I know you guys, so dumb. I hate myself for picking this one as my favorite. I wanted it to come in like third. It's really good. The ingredient list is so superior and you get what you pay for, I guess, in this case. Beautiful packaging, beautiful scent, beautiful leatherability. The hair strand was perfectly white without too much like spotting or any areas that took too much. It just all around did a great job. It was an awesome experience and Orbe really killed it. I've always loved Orbe, so I didn't expect anything less from them, but I was wondering how it would do compared to the other lower priced purple shampoos and they killed it. So definitely my first place winner. I can't wait to release my own purple shampoo because, oh girl, have I done a lot of tests as of now? I mean, mine's gonna be top notch. So we just went over my five favorites in order from least favorite to most favorite. I wanted to say that these can be intermixed. Like my least favorite, yeah, was Shimmer Lights. If you don't mind the scent of Shimmer Lights, then maybe go with it. Take my criticism and critiques as you will and just figure out which one is the best for you. Um, maybe you don't want to spend $46 on a purple shampoo and I totally get that. So maybe opt for, you know, the Paul Mitchell one. Or if you don't mind having an awful scent in your hand, maybe go with Shimmer Lights. 
highlights because it is the least expensive. Do what's best for your blonde hair. All blonde heads of hair are different and they're unique and they need different ingredients. They need different toning. Some of them need more toning, some of them need less. So do what you will with this information. All right, you guys, that is all for today. Don't forget to follow me on all the different social media networks. Here are my, is my handle for everything. Go at it, do it up. Also, make sure you guys check out my hair care line, Xmodo Hair at xmondohair.com or on our Instagram at xmondo. Hair. If you guys would like to stay up to date with my life, everything going on, new videos I post, and maybe get a text back personally by me, text the number right here and let's chat. And today's Instagram shout out goes to Amy. And Amy says, I have super curly hair and kind of had the same haircut most of my life. And I'm debating on getting a pixie cut. Should I keep it long or cut it all off? Amy, you know what I'm gonna say to you? If you've had the same style your whole life and you're over it, get the f rid of it. Move on. It's time for a change, Amy. So yes, do it. Do a pixie cut. And if it doesn't work out, grow it back out. You only got one life to live, Amy. Do it up. And if you hate it, don't come after me. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.